Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week we're on the shore of Lake Champlain where fisheries biologists are getting ready to launch the second year of a pilot program to try to boost the population of Atlantic salmon here in the lake. We'll tell you more about that in just a few minutes, but first there are growing concerns over another fish, an invasive species called the round goby that many biologists believe is setting its sights here on the lake. The Nature Conservancy and Adirondack Council are both calling on New York State to close at least one of the locks along the Champlain Canal until a solution can be found to keep the round goby from traveling up the canal and into Lake Champlain. When the Nature Conservancy called me um, to, you know, to, to garner support, I was, you know, I was like, absolutely. I went to my, the Board of Supervisors and, and yes, I, absolutely, we'll, we will support any way to keep it out. Sport fishing is an economic driver for many communities along the lake. And Willsboro Town Supervisor Sean Gilliland says the prized trout, bass, and salmon in the lake are already threatened by other invasive species. He said the last thing they need is yet another invasive fish to worry about. It's an economic drain in, in dealing with the invasive species in, in the lake. I mean, you know, uh, the lampreys, the uh, um, zebra mussels, um, the alewives, uh, everyone that comes in and disrupts the ecosystem in there, just, you know, it, it, it's not only a natural resources or, or an ecological problem, it's, it's, it becomes an economic problem. The state's Environmental Conservation Commissioner Basil Sagos told us last week the state is committed to finding a way to stop the round goby from reaching Lake Champlain. It is a concern. We do not want the round goby in Lake Champlain. Um, it has shown itself to be a, a habitat disruptor uh, where it's been, where else it's been. Uh, it's disrupted the food chain and ultimately outcompeted other types of fish that are you know, not just important for the environment, but also important for the economy. So we're taking this very seriously. Several environmental groups have called on the state and Canal Corporation to keep at least one lock closed along the canal. Boaters could still use the canal to the north and south of that lock while the Army Corps of Engineers starts work on creating a barrier aimed at preventing the round goby and other invasive species from getting into the lake. For now, the DEC says it's going to do field work to try to determine if the round goby has indeed made it into the canal and use what it calls double draining to try to ensure that the gobies don't slip through the locks with boats. The environmental groups say it appears the state wants to keep the canal open to navigation at all cost. Yeah, would we rather have the locks completely shut down, um, you know, to keep them out? Yeah, I, I think so. But um, I guess the st state is weighing the the benefits of letting boats go, go up and down, you know, through the through the canal or and through the locks uh, against the danger of the goby. But at the same time, I'm, I'm glad the state is recognizing this. The, the NDEC recognizes this, this is, is a severe threat and at least is, uh, is addressing it. Any decision whether to keep one of the locks closed will have to be made prior to the start of the season, which begins in May. 